Hey everyone! Belated happy, happy, happy new year to each and every one of you. It's been quite a while since the last time I made a YouTube skincare video. Oh my goodness! Last night it was windy, it was snowing so hard, it's really cold outside, it's windy still. I'm so sorry about the background noise. I think someone's trying to kind of like hammer something out. Don't mind that. Um, anyway, so I have actually been using different products over the past few weeks and months, I want to say. And I have actually been preparing for new skincare videos on my channel because I really wanted to be more active there. Um, if I haven't introduced myself yet, my name is Joel. I am a Sephora employee. I am a paid services beauty advisor. So what are we talking about for today's video or in today's video, I mean. So we are going to be talking about the Inky Lists Super Solutions 1% Retinol. I think I actually used the product for a month or so, like approximately a month. Let's just say a month. And I took photos of my progress when I was using the product and I tried my best not to use like other active ingredients but because I have like acne prone skin I had to use some active ingredients aside from retinol. Before we begin, I actually have purchased two retinol products from them with my own money and then I got the other retinol product with the same brand as a gratis. So just to let you guys know that. So what is retinol? Retinol is a vitamin A ingredient that a lot of cosmetic brands usually use to target people who usually struggle with fine lines, wrinkles, signs of aging, hyperpigmentation, and all of that. And retinol is a part of the retinoid family. So retinol, it needs to be converted twice in order for it to become retinoic acid, which is the active form of vitamin A. So it's actually really good for people who cannot tolerate tretinoin or retinoic acid. So let's talk about the product itself. So I have the product here with me. And if you guys haven't used this one yet, it actually has a yellow consistency because of the retinol that's inside the product. And you actually don't need a lot when you are using it. And it actually spreads pretty nicely on the skin. So when you are using it, just make sure to always use sunscreen in the daytime because it's kind of like no use if you are not using a sunscreen because you're trying to kind of like repair something but if you're trying to expose your skin from the uv rays then you are just damaging your skin even further right so let's talk about my experience using this product so when i was using this product because i have been using tretinoin for like i i want to say like a year and i have been using like different actives as well I am not exactly like a novice when it comes to actives. I've been using like glycolic, salicylic, um, lactic acid, retinol, over-the-counter over retinol products, tretinoin, niacinamide, so many things. I have used so many active ingredients over the past few years, especially during pandemic. And when I was using this one, at first, I didn't really feel any um, warmth or any tingling sensation when I was using it but I actually did notice a little bit of tingling like after I was almost done trying to finish up the product and it's a little bizarre to be honest with you because I feel like I should have gotten the tingling sensation during the beginning not like after I don't know maybe because I may have applied too much I don't know maybe maybe it's just how my skin was reacting at the time but my skin can pretty much tolerate any active ingredients at this point. And when I was using this one, I was only using this at night as much as I possibly can. I think I may have used this like during daytime, I think once because I may have forgotten to apply the retinol product at night. So let's talk about the results after using this product for about a month. So... After using this one, I actually did notice that my skin's texture has definitely improved. I also noticed that my skin, when I had my post-acne marks, they definitely faded, like visibly faded. 
and i was really happy when i saw the results because i was like please work please work of course it did work because i was really consistent with it and i was really really just when i was using the product and i'm pretty happy about that so now let's talk about the ingredients so the first ingredient is water glycerin which is a humectant it makes your skin hydrated it also has apricot kernel oil which is an emollient it helps with hydrating the skin it also helps make sure that your skin is protected from the environmental stressors or aggressors you know from pollution and from day-to-day -day life and the same and the same goes for avocado oil it's rich in fatty acids as well like omega-3 omega-6 i believe linoleic acid and other fatty acids as well and it also has some fatty alcohol like cetyl alcohol and it also has squalane which is a hydrating emollient and antioxidant and of course it contains retinol so retinol as i mentioned i may have mentioned this one already in the beginning of the video um retinol helps with signs of aging so it helps with fine lines wrinkles hyperpigmentation acne scars and it also helps with acne it depends on what acne you have but generally speaking it does help with acne as well um, it also has phospholipids it has vitamin e an antioxidant soybean oil another emollient and another soybean sterols which i believe is um, an antioxidant and a brightening ingredient as well so the ingredients of this product is actually pretty good because it has a lot of ingredients that's going to help with signs of aging and also soothing the skin it helps with hydrating the skin at the same time so it's a pretty good product and that's pretty much it you guys i want to know have you guys tried this product before if you guys have please let me know in the comment section below and if you haven't you guys should definitely try this one out but if you are planning to try this one out be very careful when you're using this one because if you're a novice or if you are new to retinol i want you to start very very slowly when you're using it because you don't want to get any irritation or anything like that so you start very slowly use it like once a week or do a short skin contact therapy which is leaving it for 30 minutes or an hour and then rinse it off just so your skin can become acclimated to it and as I mentioned always always use sunscreen after just to protect your skin from all the benefits that you're getting from your retinol and yeah, thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.